want to add a little story about the stagecoach. Um, I happened to be in Washington, D.C. Well, I remember when Wells Fargo started their multicultural department. They had a wonderful vice president, and they started providing, you know, multilingual services, et cetera. That's the old Wells Fargo. My husband and I happened to be in Washington, D.C. last at April for a couple of conferences. The stagecoach was everywhere. Not only is Wells Fargo the local branch bank of choice in Washington, D.C., the banners were all through the Washington Metro. Now, you could ask why, you know, maybe some targeted predatory lending um, focused on California, which would have the largest number of um, low income or African American, Latino, and other uh, um, uh, uh, first time you know, mortgage uh, borrowers. But uh, it's not just Wells Fargo, it's a lot of the banks. So you have to find out what happened to Bank of America. I remember the piano store at the corner of Van Ness and McAllister. And some of you will remember that turned into Countrywide. And we should all remember who headed up Countrywide. And why would Manhattan be full of um, HSBC banks? So all of the non-American, what we would call international or foreign banks who have presences in San Francisco now, and I'm not going to name them, but the latest banner headline on the uh, TV news channels, business channels, CNBC, et cetera, is that derivatives regulations will not be applied to international banks. Okay, so Wells Fargo specifically has a lot to do with why everybody's here today, but it's the whole um, banking, uh, cartel system. Oh. Yeah. Oh.